Well, hello there. Today we are going to uh, install the uh, Java Development Kit along with the NetBeans IDE onto our computer. And then after we do that, we're going to configure the system uh, so that we can uh, access um, both the Java compiler and, uh, and the Java executable using the command prompt. So... First thing that we're going to we're going to do is we're going to go to the internet. You're going to go to http uh, colon forward slash forward slash java dot sun dot com forward slash java se forward slash downloads forward slash index dot jsp. Once you get to this site, there are a few options that come underneath uh, the Java Standard Edition Development Kit bundles. Um, the first one uh, has something to do with EE. We don't want that. The second one has to do with Java FX SDK. We don't want that. You want this one. You want the Java JDK 6 update 16 with NetBeans 6.7.1. Now, if uh, today's date is September the 28th, 2009, if you're looking at this later, then you might have an updated version of the JDK up here. But as long as it says JDK 6 or whatever, that's fine. As long as it says NetBeans, that's what you want. So you're going to come over here, click Download. Once you go to download, uh, it'll give you an option for platform. We want Windows because uh, we're on Windows XP on this computer. You want continue. You want to click on skip this step. So you might see something like this. We'll say download file. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on save. And we want to save this to our desktop. And it might take a, a while. Uh, it is 135 uh, megabytes. So once you finish downloading that, that file, uh, it is an executable. So you can just double click on it. Click on Run. And it will go ahead and it will say Configuring the Installer. <clears throat> You'll eventually see this uh, window right here. Welcome to the JDK 6 Update 16 NetBeans IDE 6.71 installer. Just go ahead and click Next. Notice it's going to need about 500 megabytes of uh, hard drive space. Yes, I accept the terms. And click Next. Install JDK 2. Please select this default. It's C, Program Files, Java, JDK 1.6.0 underscore 16. So you'll click Next. And then you'll see this. Install the NetBeans IDE 2. Go ahead and select this default and select this default as well. And then click Next. And you should be ready to install. So once you're done installing, we're just going to click Yes uh, to the cancel for this because I've already installed it in this computer. Uh, you should have a NetBeans IDE uh, icon on your desktop. So that portion of the uh, install process um, to use Java on your computer is done. So the next portion is uh, that we're going to do is we're going to set up our system so that we can use the command prompt to, uh, to access um, the uh, Java executables. And to do that, uh, you do the following. You want to go to My Computer, go to C Program Files. You're going to find Java. And then... Um, Notice that on this computer I have JDK 1.6.0 underscore 14. I have an earlier version of Java than what you do if you just installed it. Uh, nevertheless, you want to go into this folder, this JDK folder. And inside this folder, there's a bin folder. Double click on that. Notice inside this bin folder that there are two very important executables. There's the Java executable and there's the Java compiler, Java C.exe executable. We want our command prompt to have access to this folder, this directory right here, uh, at any time. So to do that, we're going to highlight this path, we're going to copy it, and then we're going to go to Start. We're going to go to My Computer, right-click, go to Properties. Once this comes up, you're going to go to the Advanced tab. Then you're going to go down to Environment Variables. Click on Environment Variables. You're going to have system variables right here. You want to scroll down until you come to path. Now notice that uh, there's some folders in here. There's the C Windows System 32 folder, uh, and there's the C Windows. There's something else in there as well. Um, if you put a path in here where this says path, uh, your command prompt will have access to any folder or directory in there. That means that once you... Uh, if you're using the command prompt, you don't have to actually go into this folder to access any of the executables. 
So you're going to click on Edit. And notice that there's a bunch of stuff in here. You want to leave that alone. You're going to go to the very, very end of this, and you're going to press semicolon, and then you're going to paste the path in there. So there's our path. We just pasted it. You're going to click OK, and you're going to click OK, and then you're going to click OK. So now, if I go into Start, if I use the command prompt, if I type um, Java, I should get a bunch of weird stuff that comes up. And this, is, this just means that I, I was able to execute the program, but I didn't do it right because it needed some more commands. But this is great because notice that right now I'm in the Documents and Settings folder. I'm not in this particular folder right here. And yet, I can still access um, the Java executable. So what's cool about this is that eventually, when we get to some of the real stuff, we will have a file like this, namestring1.java, and we'll be able to, let's say we go to the desktop, there's a namestring1.java. So this is a, a file that has some code in it that I've written, let's say open with notepad. So notice here's uh, some code, and we can actually compile this using the Java C uh, executable, Java C, what's the name of our file again? Name string one, string one dot Java. So I just compiled this program and here's the uh, the dot class file to which it compiled to and now I can run that uh, name string. I can run this uh, program right here using the Java executable. So this program merely asks, what is your name? I'm going to say Mr. And then it says Mr. has six characters. So our command prompt works uh, with Java. So that is what we were doing today. We were focusing on uh, installing uh, the uh, Java development kit along with NetBeans. And then we also uh, configured our system so that we can uh, use those uh, Java executables with our command prompt. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you later.